Good afternoon, folks. How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're here to try Smoke Wagon. Bourbon some bourbon. Yeah, this has already been opened. <laughs> Somebody came in here and stole some of our bourbon. All right, so this, I mean, we all know this is MGP sourced. I'm excited to, to get into this because you can't get this here in South Carolina yet. They're, they don't have distribution here yet. Somebody actually, uh, Mr. Uh, Joe Haley, I Joe found, Haley found this for us on a trip and uh, we were able to get it shipped to us. Shout out to Joe Haley, bro. Thank you, sir. So I'm excited to try it. Now, this is just their straight bourbon whiskey. They do have like the unfiltered uncut. We haven't had a chance to try that yet. They have various different uh, versions of it, but this is coming out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Well, coming out of Indiana by way of Las Vegas, Nevada. Anyway, the, we did the neck pour and then it sat for weeks. Three weeks probably, I think. It's yeah, sat for it's a got, while. It's got plenty yeah, of air we're to it. It's it's sat for a while. You know what I don't like about these bottles? These like tall skinny bottles, when you do two, two pours, it looks like you drank half the bottle. <laughs> It does. It's depressing. You have a fat bottle only draws like this much, but you're like, ah, oh, you know, yeah. hey, you go. But you get one of these tall, stupid bottles. <laughs> did I pour that much? <laughs> I did pour you a little bit more. You did pour me a lot. They say that this is expertly blended, creating a delicate balance of rye spice, sweet notes of corn with toasted oak and caramel, or uh, as y'all in the Midwest would say, caramel. Y'all. Um, <laughs> or as y'all in the Midwest would say, you guys. Yeah, you guys. No, no, that's that's northeast. the north. It's Yuens, 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 <laughs> which is y'all plus three. Yeah, the Yuens. <laughs> but like, I'm getting a very like a very spice and floral. Wait, is that spicy right? Yeah, I mean you get the rice spice. spice. Yeah, I'm I getting can, that. I can pick that up. Very much baking spice, but I'm getting this, this real floral note. A little fruity. I can get the fruit. I have to dig for it though. There's a honeysuckle note in it. Oh, there is a honeysuckle note. Honeysuckle. In it. That's that's the floral note I'm getting. Is I used that to honeysuckle? Love picking honeysuckles. That's summertime in South Carolina. You go yeah, and you yeah. find honeysuckle bushes and be picking on the honeysuckle, just sucking that, that nectar. Was just the, the tiniest bit, but you're like, <laughs> it's a <the> sugar. <laughs> it's like <laughs> as a kid, you're like, this is sugar. My dad had a, a honeysuckle bush right across the street beside his mailbox. Yeah, we take that thing clean. Yeah, <laughs> it was me and all the neighborhood kids. Th this thing. There's so little in there, you burn off more calories than you can get. <laughs> it's healthy for you, Diddy. <laughs> stop telling us to stop picking these honeysuckles. Man, yeah. uh, it smells good. That's actually pretty good. It's super it's sweet nice. on the lips. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah, I had to go back for that second sip because that first sip I was getting a lot of oak tannins. That dissipates on the second sip for me. And then I get the toasted marshmallow. Mm -hmm. Still, the, the oak is there, oh. slightly drying. What is that? I've had that before. Not in bourbon, but like... <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> I've had it in like some some dessert. What the hell is that? I feel like I've had it at Dairy Queen. This is like an ice cream. I, I don't want to go to butterscotch and just say butterscotch, but it like, it kind of reminds me of butterscotch. There's a, a butterscotch note, like the butterscotch dip the butterscotch cone. Yeah, I, it's there. I like that. That's very good. It is, there's definitely a, you pick up the spiciness in this. The baking spices, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of black pepper. It's prickly on my tongue. That's what she said. Excuse me? That's what she said. It's not as, so we tried the uh, the Wyoming whiskey before. This is no, nowhere near as smooth as that. But there are some flavors going on here. I mean, this is a whole nother animal. Yeah. It's, you really can't compare the two because it's two different animals completely. I like it. It's pretty. It's a nice design. Stupid bottle, but a nice design. How much is this? So this is cheaper than Wyoming? This is cheap. Yeah, this, yeah, this is significantly. I think it was $29, I think it's what it paid. Oh, all day. Yeah, yeah I'd, I think I'd, I'd pick this up all day. Like it's in the 30-ish range. And I said about Wyoming, like, if it were a little bit cheaper, it would be like a go-to. Yeah, this comes into South Carolina. This is going to be oh, yeah. a staple. Uh, coming because especially it's what is it 92 proof 92 and a half a half a proof point yeah. count it's hot as balls here in south carolina right so now so hot so this is not something that i would necessarily be out sitting on the porch right now sipping because no. it's like 95 degrees and 200 percent humidity i wouldn't <laughs> even be outside to begin no. with to drink i would just drink inside <laughs> we've got the temperature set at 68 lovely degrees <laughs> and uh i'll just sip in here i'm not going outside at all unless the house is on fire and i might not even go outside for that because honestly south carolina <laughs> summer weather is hotter than a house fire when it comes fall when it starts to cool off just a little bit i can see this is going to be when i sit up by a bonfire yeah. and just sip on all evening long and i don't have to at 92 proof i don't have to worry about getting myself schnockered yeah. or nothing yeah i can just sip on that all evening with friends. So I like I like this a lot. I just I'm a, I'm a fan of low. Is it a buy? God, yes, it's a buy. Mm -hmm. If we can get to, if we can get our hands on more, I'm gonna grab multiple bottles of it. Is it even in South Carolina anywhere? No, no, I don't think it's. So if it comes to South period. Carolina, 
it's a definite buy. Yeah. The distribution on this is not super wide yet. And of course, we could always probably find it at sealbox.com. They get it there quite often and we like to uh, deal with, with sealbox. Hey, by the way, if you like what we're doing, hit that like button and notification bell so you know when we're dropping new content every week. And if you want to see two goobers drink bourbon and just do stupid stuff all the time, uh, join us on Patreon. Link will be in the description below. You don't have to, but do it! Yeah, or I'll come in to find you and I'll drink all your bourbon and then I'll pat you, pat your little head.